What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Monument at Reverence, a new Pulte Homes townhome community here in Summerlin West. We are off of Lake Mead, west of the 215. This is a great area with close proximity to notable schools as well as great shopping and dining. This community is brand new. They just had their grand opening. In fact, they don't even have pricing quite out yet, but it should be out soon. So once I have that, I will share that information with you guys, but I figured nonetheless, these floor plans are obviously gonna look the same. They have three floor plans and these buildings have anywhere between four units to eight units per building. The Branton and the Cornwall are always going to be interior units like you see here. And then the Danbury is going to be an end unit on both sides. Two car garages, most of these will not have long enough driveways um, to fit vehicles. I'll try to get a shot of the other side of the building for you guys and put it here so you can see what the other side looks like. But some homes might get lucky with a longer 19 foot driveway, but most in this community are not. And there's gonna be 168 total homes when it's all said and done. Let's start here at the Branton. Specs will be on the screen. You're gonna have ring doorbells there at the entry. And what's a cool included feature is these covered patios here at the front. You have a gate to access this, but you also have the slider on the other side. You can see the hose bib and let's head inside. Eight foot exterior doors inside. We're going to have six foot eight interior doors, but they obviously upgraded this one to eight foot dual panel. Let's open up this closet for you. So coat closet right off the entry. What's great about these floor plans is you have nine foot ceilings on both floors. So it makes the space feel nice and big. Great open floor plan that all flows very nicely. And let's start here at the living room. So you do have that eight foot slider that takes you out to the covered patio. These models are actually right next to where the community pool and park will be. It's a gated community as well. So there is an HOA, a SID, and the master plan fee. What's great is your HOA covers the exterior of the home. So the roof, the exterior stucco, and all the landscaping is covered by the HOA. As a homeowner, you just have to worry about the interior of the unit. Here's a look at the kitchen. Your standard would be a granite countertop with a raised backsplash. You can see they upgraded to a quartz. You have a little bit of an overhang for bar seating. And then your dining space is right over there. Whirlpool stainless steel appliances is gonna be the standard package, which is shown here. Of course, they don't include the refrigerator. And then a stainless steel Undermount sink is going to be stand, standard. Um, it might not be single basin, might be a dual basin. But here's a look behind the island. They are currently just specking out in this community. There's no dirt to do a full build. So with these homes, they'll have particular floor plans obviously already set and the options already picked out. So if there's a particular model you like, you're gonna have to see what they've already picked out. Make sure that you like it. Here's a look at the pantry. It is a walk-in and it wraps around here with the space underneath the staircase. But at least for this first phase, they're just doing specs. Maybe in the future, they will have dirt where you can do a full build. Your half bath with the pedestal sink is right here. You do have comfort height commodes throughout or comfort height toilets. And then obviously they put in this beautiful luxury vinyl plank, which is definitely an upgrade. Eight foot exterior door that's gonna take you out to the two car garage. They always lock these, but you're gonna have your tankless water heater. And now let's head upstairs. I love this accent wall. They put the same luxury vinyl plank. Nice detail there, you have the open railing. Let's start on this side where we're gonna have the secondary rooms separate from the primary. Again, you have nine foot ceilings on this level. Nice windows bringing in natural light. And as always guys, if you want dimensions for any of these spaces, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to share that. Your baseboards are those contemporary three and a quarter inch, which is a standard feature.
You do have a pre-wire up here. Those smaller circles that you see are the fire sprinkler system, which is now part of the code here in Summerlin. You have a linen closet right next to the full bath, tub and shower combo. Here's a look at an extra storage closet. You have your laundry room conveniently located right next to the primary. So side-by-side -side washer dryer, you have your network box in here and a shelf up top for some additional storage, but no sink. And here is the primary bedroom. The mountain views you get from over here in Summerlin West are pretty incredible. I'll head out to that balcony, which is an option. Your walk-in closet is going to be off of the bedroom, so not through the bathroom. But nice big space. Let me show you these views. So that's your gated entrance there for this community. Now let's finish off here with the primary bath. So double sinks. You have the standing shower with the glass enclosure. You do have a door to close off the water closet and you actually have a pretty wide space there for the toilet. But here's a closer look at the shower. Beautiful tile that goes all the way to the ceiling, which is an upgrade. But they match the tile with the cabinets and the hardware looks very modern. So let's take you into the next model now. All right, and next we have the Cornwall, which is gonna be always another interior unit. Same thing, covered patio here in the front. Ring doorbell at the entry. And let's head inside. So here's a look right as you enter. Again, another open floor plan that flows very nicely. You're gonna have a coat closet right here. And they did a great job with the staging. Love the colors in here, very neutral. We'll start again over in the living room. So same eight foot slider, nine foot ceilings. They did the upgraded stair railing, those stainless steel rods. That looks super sleek. Now you see quite a bit of upgrades here in the kitchen. They put in this quartz countertop that goes all the way up to the hood, which is definitely an upgrade. Here's a look at the pantry. You have those nice 42 inch upper cabinets. Let's give you a look behind the island. Matte black faucet. You have the dual basin stainless steel sink. And they have Whirlpool appliances shown in here. Your powder room is right off of the garage. Again, comfort height toilets with the pedestal sink. Very nice tile back there. Let's see if this opens up. It doesn't, unfortunately for me. But you have your two car garage. They did a finished epoxy here on the floors. And again, you'll have your tankless water heater right there. So you can give you a little bit of a look, but it's just through the door. And that's it for this first floor. Let's head upstairs. They have those same three and a quarter inch contemporary baseboards that we saw in the last model. Now what they did up here is actually, this is modeled as a two bed. So this is standard, a three bed, but you can turn the two secondary rooms into a guest suite, which is shown right here. So this is kind of a junior primary. 
it's a nice big space. Let me give you a look from the other corner as well. And you do have the ensuite bathroom. So water closet's gonna be right here. Door to close the space off. Double sinks. They just went with the shower in here with the seat. And all your bathrooms, the standard countertop is gonna be Pedrofina. And here is a look at the shower. Nice big seat there in the back. And this is a very generous closet. Again, this is kind of a secondary room. But this one is modeled as a two bed, can be a three bed. In fact, it's a three bed standard. Here's a look at your laundry space. So side by side washer dryer, similar to the last model, no sink. They did put the upper cabinets here. All right, so we have a storage right across from the staircase. And then this is going to be the main primary suite here for this floor plan. If I can get the camera to focus, you get some incredible mountain views from this particular home site. Let's give you another angle of this space. The nine foot ceilings really make a difference and you have a nice size walk-in closet for this bedroom. So a little bit different tile that we're gonna see in this shower, but you have your double sinks and similar to the last bath, just the big shower with the glass enclosure. They did do a different tile there for the surround. Water closet will have a door to close this space off. And then there's one more thing to show you guys with this floor plan. It is the only one in this community that offers this option for a rooftop deck and for particular home sites, you are going to have some incredible views, potentially strip views, um, but of course they never guarantee that. But look at those mountain views, right? As you get up to the top here, just incredible. So there's a look at your rooftop. As we look east, you can see the Las Vegas Strip. And again, this is the only floor plan that offers this option for the rooftop deck. So if it's something you're looking for, this is the perfect plan. So let me give you one more pan. That's it for this one. I'll take you into the third and final model. All right, guys. And finally, we have the Danbury, which is the end unit. So there's gonna be two of them per building, but it's always going to be the end unit. Let's head over here, take a look. And this is the biggest floor plan offered in this community. Nice open floor plan, same front covered patio here. Let's give you an angle from over here. So the KitchenAid appliances that you see in here, the stainless steel KitchenAid, those are an upgrade available at the design studio. Of course, they're just specking right now, like I said, so particular homes might have already had this chosen out, but it is an upgraded package. Tile backsplash in here, quartz counters. Let me turn around. Very nice upgrades in here. Love the neutral tones. And then over here is gonna be your garage. They always lock that, but you have an extra countertop and storage space with plenty of cabinets and your walk-in pantry straight across. Let's walk around this corner where you're gonna have your half bath with the pedestal sink. Coat closet right next door. 
And now let's head upstairs. Sorry if I'm being quick in these final two. I feel like I got most of the information in the first model, but still give you a lay of the land here for these floor plans. And now let's head upstairs. This community has move-ins as soon as June of 2024. That's when the first buildings will be complete, but they have varying delivery times on their specs. So depending on what you're looking for, they probably have something to meet your demand. So like I mentioned, this is the biggest floor plan offered. It can go up to four bedrooms. And what they do is take this loft space and make it the fourth. Your primary is on that side. So I'm gonna start over here, show you the secondary rooms. But as they have it modeled, you have those eight foot doorways with the transfer grills up top. Here's bedroom number one. They did put an upgraded baseboard here. And you have a standard closet. Here's bedroom number two. Being an end unit, you do get some more windows. And so this one's got quite a few windows bringing in natural light, which is a great perk to being an end unit. You get a little bit more space and you get the additional windows. You have your side-by-side -side washer dryer, upper cabinets. This one's pretty much identical to the last model that we saw for the laundry room. They put in some extra cabinetry right there. And this is the full bath that would be shared by the bedrooms and also service the loft upstairs. So this would be bedroom number four if you went with that option. And finally, we have the primary suite. So this balcony is an option here at the top. Nice size space, window surrounding the bed. Let's take a look at the walk-in closet. And then for this bathroom, you still have the double sinks. They put that mirrored medicine cabinet there to the right. Beautiful tile surround all the way to the ceiling with the rainfall shower head. You do have a seat that blends in with that same tile there on the wall. Water closet, so you have a door to close this off right there. And then an additional closet space. So that closet that we saw within the bedroom isn't the only one you also have one right here in the bathroom. They are now taking reservations for these townhomes. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a visit, please contact me. As always, my contact information is down below in the description and on the screen. It does not cost you anything out of pocket to have me represent you on the purchase of a new home as the builder pays my commission. So let me guide you through the nuances of new construction and help get you a great deal on a new home. Any feedback down below in the comments would be greatly appreciated and I'll be responding to all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.